woman that cooks in Nigeria, every woman that cooks in Nigeria, every day, both bishops and every other person contribute to the wealth of Dangote. What are the richest companies in the world? Number one, McDonald's. McDonald's is one of the richest companies in the world. Food. Lipton. Food. Starbucks. Food. You live in Smithfield. Go and browse in the internet. Smithfield feeds. Browse in the internet. Type Smithfield feeds. It's a Christian family. Joseph W. Luther I, Joseph W. Luther II, and now Joseph W. Luther III. They produce pork. They slaughter more than, they have more than one million pigs. They make an income of 11.1 billion. Go to the internet, browse Baghdad ice cream parlor. There's a family that has been producing ice cream since 1895. Till today, they are still producing ice cream. Go to the internet, browse Cadbury. Cadbury started as a family business. The word Bonvita is from a village they founded in the UK, Bonville, a family. Go to the internet and browse, uh, uh, who, 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 what will I talk about now? Any food company, Magvite, Quaker Oats, any company that, any, anything that deals with food, you can never be poor. Do you know, I don't know, in, in Nigeria, a bottle of water is more expensive than a bottle of oil, than a liter of oil. So whoever is producing water in Nigeria is richer than a refinery. Come. If I, I was coming from the border in Liberia, I mean Sierra Leone and Liberia, through the Maori River, you will see somebody planting palm trees. Palm trees. A liter of palm oil is more expensive than a liter of crude. A liter of crude. A gallon of a, a drum of crude is 50 something dollars now. But a, four liters of palm oil is more than like 40 dollars. Now that you are young, instead of buying big cars here, buy big land at home and plant palm trees mm. and put an oil mill, you will be rich till old age. You will not come and work in Australia again. Don't spend your money on cars and fashion here. That is stupidity. Are you listening to me? Yes. yes. Ma'am, if this church had a poultry that produces 3,000 eggs every day, is there anything that prevents this church from owning a poultry I went to Claire today in the suburbs. If you had a poultry when you started this church in 1970 something that is producing 3,000 eggs, number one, you will employ people. Am I right? Number two, you will feed people. Number three, you will get money. And let me talk, no, when I'm talking nice. My canteen alone can employ a graduate in Nigeria. I have a canteen. I have 1,000 suckers of plantain. My plantain produces two at once. And I produce plantain chips that I sell to my students. I sell sugar cane. I have sugar cane. I, have, I, have, I don't buy gari. I have a cassava farm. I don't buy fish. I have a fish farm in my compound, a fish pond in my compound, catfish. Do you know you can export catfish to China? You know how much is a kilogram of fish? Do you know somebody is producing tilapia in Liberia in, in, in tanks? It's called the, 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 the poultry of the water. And your soil is better. Very better. Ice cream 
in my in my house. As I'm preaching to you now, money is entering my account. Because 520, uh, 558, 580 something children in my school, if they spend only uh, one dollar a day, imagine how many dollars I get a day from the children. They buy water, they buy ice cream, they buy potato chips. I produce potato chips. I produce popcorn in my house. I cook rice in my house. Put in plates and sell to my students. That's why I'm not a poor pastor. That's why I'm a rich pastor. Only my canteen is paying the loan I took from corporate. My canteen alone, let's use a round figure. 15,000 naira is about how many dollars? A hundred dollars, not so. A hundred dollars. If I get a hundred dollars just like that, every day, without, I don't work, somebody, another woman does it. And the machine I used to do, assuming you, you, you find somewhere you can put a popcorn making machine in this town and just be selling popcorn. Get one of your Liberian young boys who has no job to be selling the popcorn somewhere. Mm. Mama, why are you scratching your neck? There are regulations in Australia over some of those things. You can't just do that. You say? Yeah, there's regulations on a lot of those things. You just can't just go You don't do just that. can't. There is no country in the world where things are done freely, including Nigeria. We have NAFTA. You understand? And if you are waiting until things you can just do, there's nothing. You don't just get pregnant. You don't even, even if you want to kill yourself, if you fail, they will send you to jail for wanting to take your own life. Yes. You know the problem with prayer? Prayer makes us lazy if we don't know principles. The black man always transfers responsibility to God and the devil. Now, Elisha is asking, what is it? There's nothing that prevents you from rearing, from registering a farm. Here. In Nigeria, Equa, the uh, uh, Evangelical Church of West Africa, they have farm. There are several churches that own farm. All the farms I saw in uh, Clare and I saw in uh, wherever I went to now, I saw small holder farms, I saw sheep, several sheep. How those people got the license? Get it. The difference between the poor and the rich is that the poor give excuses. This woman was saying that, uh, you know my servant served me, my master served me. No, no, no. The disciple said, uh, 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 the, 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 the people are so many, 4,000 of them. It will, not, it will take more than a, a, a month, a salary of 10 months or whatever. This one doesn't like excuses. You know how much it takes me to register a school? You know how much I spend when they come and inspect my school in Nigeria? This whole building, this, this whole place is not up to my primary school site. This is your whole land. And I bought it expensively. The Bible says if you are willing and obedient, the problem with Christians is that they put obedience before willingness. The prodigal son and the senior son who ate more out of life. The prodigal son. The senior son was obedient but not willing. That's why God liked Jacob. Jacob had a meal. He was fighting from the womb. Because God knew that Israel would be in a bad neighborhood with Arabs. They needed somebody to have. Somebody say food. Oh. Say it again. Oh. Oh. If you cannot produce, distribute. If you cannot produce, distribute.
distribute food. If you cannot distribute food, you see Chinese restaurant. I saw an Italian restaurant in Clare. I saw Indian on the other side. Does it make sense? Where I went to take ferry now, at uh, take a uh, cruise boat, if somebody just puts a uh, shawarma, every person entering the ferry, buying shawarma to enter, just one thing. Inside the ferry, somebody is cooking inside. They give you two tickets. Anything that has to do with food, just to establish an African restaurant somewhere in this city. You cook Sierra Leonean food, you cook Gambian uh, Nigerian food, you cook um, uh, Ethiopian food. You will make money. There's a woman in Johannesburg in a place called Hebra. That's where we go to eat uh, African food. One plate of food is 10 times what it is, 20 times what it is in Nigeria. Are you listening to me here? Yes. Are you listening to me? Does it make sense? Yes. Just look at the dining table. What is it? If you can't do it here, when you get money, buy large land at home. I met somebody who was born in 1970 in my country. Outside where I want to do my polytechnic. He bought 100 acres. And there are places in Liberia and Syria where you see large expanse of land. Bought 100 acres and planted palm trees. After three, four years, the third year. By the time I met him in March last year, he had 672 jerry cans of 20 liters of palm oil. He kept them till September. By September, he had about 2,000. One jerry can sells at about 6,000, and that's 12 million from palm oil. And the thing with, uh, with, with the table economy, when you are sleeping, your product is growing. When I'm sleeping, my fishes are growing. I want you to take your mind back home. That is one of the things you can retire into. You can't take uh, the aged can't take care of the aged. When you are old here, you can't take care of aged people. Am I talking to you? Yeah, powerful. Don't be angry with me. I'm not the one who wrote the Bible. <laughs> I'm not angry. I'm just thinking about business. <laughs> You're just thinking, eh? Wow. Yeah. <laughs> School. The next thing after the dining table economy is anything that has to do with education. You see, the Catholics must have school. Have you noticed that? Mm -hmm. huh? yeah. Anywhere in the world, the Catholics must have school. Madagascar, Sudan, South Sudan. In fact, when I went to South Sudan, I was surprised. The Catholic, the Catholic nuns there, they established a nursery school. You know what they did? They opened a canteen there. It is the canteen that they get money from to pay the teachers. I ate in the canteen. Education. I started my school with five students. Just think of somewhere you come from, Liberia, Sierra Leone, anywhere. You go back from the experience you have now. Build a fine school. You have seen distances. You see how fine these churches. Just build a fine school. Get some equipment from here. My chairs in my library are nearly like this. My, my school library. My classrooms are tiled. My toilets are like, my school toilets are like this one. My building, the, my house is not yet complete. But I tiled my school classrooms. If you see the hostel I'm building, I tiled the toilets from up down. And I'm going to charge them. Inside my school, I have the five buses that carry 200 and something children. Each child pays 10,000 naira. 10,000 naira is how much in dollars? Ten thousand naira, eighty dollars. 
times 200 and something children. Multiply it. I saw uniforms for them. They came for the uniforms. I made sweaters for them. And because you have come to Australia here, and you have access to good products, clothes they are very nice. You can produce their uniforms from here. You can take the pattern from here. Or even if you go to Liberia, the woman producing their uniforms for me. He said, one is an engineer, one is a nurse midwife. Just to produce uniforms. The one producing sweaters for me, learn how to make sweaters here, pullover. The machine to make pullovers is very cheap. Just get the machines to make pullovers. Get home during your holidays, train people how to make pullovers. And you are producing pullovers for schools with the design of the name of the school written on it. Is it the machine to produce chalk? You know chalk finishes. You have a machine that can produce chalk. Just think of something that schools use. I have a printing press that prints exercise books for us. And we sell. My wife bought, bought a seven-seater Nissan Pathfinder Jeep 4.0 from her books. My son became a millionaire from publishing books. We produce our exercise books, we produce our drawing books, anything that has to do with school. If you can get a printing press, a second-hand printing press from here or from the UK or from Lagos or from anywhere and start a printing press that is printing books and exercise books in Sierra Leone, you will never be poor. Never. Why are you looking at me like that? Don't you know I established the word of faith school? They gave me only 52,000 naira. How much is 52,000 naira in dollars? But do you know in two years that school was richer than the church? But we'll soon close. I'm watching this time. Do you know that when people's money starts coming into your pocket as school fees, they are buying food from you, they are buying uniform from you. You know, you know, in my school, we make the we have PE uniforms for them. We have the normal uniform. We have jeans skirt and jeans short and t-shirt. And my ties, I produce them from China. So the parents will bring money for books. Every week when school resumes, I sell more than half a million naira of books. From books. When 500 and something children come and buy books. They have not been coming. You see, you have missed a lot. <laughs> the man is not breathing well. Brethren, I made up my mind to raise one million millionaires in Africa. Because we cannot continue like this. And when I went to Romania, it's the same thing. I saw white people driving taxis. So white people managing life. You can't put on the lights. Just put it on. Just off it because of bills. <laughs> Did you tell them that I, I preach truth? Did you tell them? You told them before I came here. Bills. It is a sweaty cup bits. You can't use the hot water bits. You are catching food. You can't put water in your bits. That's why. <laughs> What's your name, sir? Mohammed. <laughs> Nobody is excited today. Oh, yeah. Tell them to shine your eyes. Tell your neighbor, Mumuta and your pass. Oh, no. <laughs>